Well, it's time for another tutorial, and in this video, we are going to discuss the SkinCast silicone line. Now, this is a line of platinum silicones. Many of you are already familiar with uh, the softer end of the scale, the uh, the 0005 and the 0010, those we've been supplying now for about four years to the medical simulator market. And those are designed to simulate like fatty tissue and just really soft, I mean, it's like even softer than an earlobe kind of uh, skin softnesses. So all of these are translucent silicone formulas that may easily be pigmented to realistically simulate organic tissue. But as many of you are well aware, you have a hum the human body is composed of a lot of different softnesses of tissue. So for the medical simulator market, for the special effects world, and even the world of adult novelties and things like that, uh, there is a need for a wide uh, spectrum or broad spectrum of different softnesses of silicone. So first and foremost, real important, these are all platinum systems that are all one-to-one -one mix ratio. And these are all measured on the double O scale with the exception of the five is really technically triple O scale. And with the firmest being the double O 50, that's our newest formula, then the double O 30, then the double O 10, and then the very softest is the triple O five. And just so you have a good frame of reference on this, the double O scale overlaps slightly with the A scale. So we have the A scale, the edge of the A scale over here, and then we have the double O scale, which really helps quantify that lower end of that spectrum of the shore A scale. So for instance, over here we have the, uh, say we have the 20 shore A and shore A 10 and five, and the 50 overlaps with that A scale. The 50 really is the very edge of the, uh, the measurable end of the A scale. So around a, between a five and an eight or somewhere around there. So that's gonna be the firm end. So here we have a chunk of the, um, of the 50 shore A, and this is also the highest viscosity. So if you're casting with this formula, remember this is one that definitely needs to be vacuum degassed because uh, this one I believe is about a 9,000 centipoise uh, formula. So definitely want to vacuum degas that, but this is going to cure to, again, remember this is going to be the low end of the A scale. So it's fairly firm for a gel silicone, but uh, still considered the very low end of the short A scale. So for instance, if you're casting up something like a, uh, a prop hand or a foot, the, uh, the 50 would be a good fit for that. That's, it's got enough stability that it's not just gonna be like floppy boneless chicken. So moving along to the 0030, the 0030 is uh, fairly, uh, a lot softer than the 0050. It's got a fair amount of squish to it and a good elongation. This is one um, that does have pretty good stretch to it. And this is one that would be ideal for uh, silicone dolls and again, of course, medical simulators, that sort of thing. And also for uh, so even silicone mask applications. So um, this one is higher viscosity than these systems. I think this one is more like the around the 6,000 centipoise range. So again, good idea to vacuum degas this, but this is a good uh, reasonably priced silicone gel for those kinds of applications like masks, dolls, um, you know, simulators, that sort of thing. And again, this is more like a little bit softer than the 50, more like your earlobe. Now moving along, again, the 10 and the five, uh, many of you are already familiar with, but these are two real important to understand where these fit into this whole system. These are so soft, I rarely recommend using them by themselves. Now we do have some customers that use the, uh, the 10 and the five in concert to create uh, breast exam simulators and that sort of thing, because you can get some really nice softnesses with that. And just using the 10 as a skin and the five as a filler gives you a very realistic uh, consistency. That said, by itself, the 10 is a really, really soft silicone. So again, by itself, there's not a whole lot of applications where you would use this 
on its own, unless you're making uh, like intestines or uh, you might even use this for a tentacle or something like that. But, and it does have good elongation, but again, because it is so soft, it can tend to be fairly fragile in really thin cross sections. So it's real important to remember that. Um, I recommend this for applications where you're doing internal organs and things like that that need to have a lot of squish uh, to them. But uh, again, I wouldn't recommend this for a silicone mask. So now the five, the triple O five, is really technically measured on the triple O scale. And the triple O five is really soft. And by itself, it's going to be, especially in thin sections, very fragile. So I don't recommend this on its own. Typically, we recommend this with some kind of encapsulating layer, like either the 10 at a bare minimum, or of course the 30 or 50. All these are compatible with each other, so these can also be laminated to create uh, realistic uh, tissue, the feel of realistic tissue. Like for instance, your arm, a human arm or a face, has all these areas, like the tip of your nose is obviously firmer than your earlobe. So laminating these together can create some very realistic uh, flesh feels um, that, again, work well for the simulator market as well as the, um, the special effects world. Now, one last note. This, again, this is one of those things that I've discussed with many of you on the telephone machine, but uh, real important to consider here. These can also be intermixed. But here's the key is, say, we're, we're going to mix the 0005 with the 0050. We can do that, but we have to stay true to that mix ratio. So say we're mixing up 800 grams of the, both of these together. So we do 200 grams of A, 200 grams of B, 200 grams of A, 200 grams of B, and then mix those all together. And the benefit to that sort of thing is we can knock this down, take this 50, and knock it down even softer to where, say, maybe it's more like a 0020. Um, we can also use that to adjust the mix viscosity of the 50 and uh, lower that viscosity and make it easier to pour. So that's important too because there are applications where you might need a very specific softness of silicone that's somewhere in between one of these four formulas. So real important to remember how these all work together and how to use them wisely to make realistic uh, flesh and organic tissue. Now, I'm going to close with this last little bit. Those of you new to using these materials, we have a lot of new material on this on our silicone prop page. So don't miss out on that. I'm going to put a link down there in the video description. So be sure to check that out. Uh, the silicone prop page, I'll put a link right to it. In that page, we have one of the most que asked questions about platinum silicones, which is about compatible mold materials. So we have a, a tutorial that goes over that, as well as a lot of uh, tricks with in-mold painting, using deadener with some of these, softening these, and, and intermixing them and all kinds of things. And as this expands, because we expect to add at least one more formula to this, if not more than that. So as these expand, um, we will be doing some more tutorials on that as well. So there you go, there is the, the rundown on the skin cast line. I hope that helps answer some of the questions about where all these fit, especially in relationship to that Shore A scale because many of you watching our channel are well aware of the Shore A scale and its relationship to mold making and casting, but the double O scale is kind of this weird area that again falls under or kind of overlaps with the Shore A scale. So uh, real important to file that away and understand where these fit and understand their application areas. So thanks again for watching and uh, last bit of housekeeping, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, be sure to check the comments. Uh, we were at this constant war with, uh, with Google alg algorithms about being able to get the word out to the public about certain things without paying through our nose. So be sure to check the comments. That's where sometimes we will sneak in a, a coupon code and things like that. But thanks again for watching and we really appreciate your business.